So we're on the desktop here of the QNAP NAS and once again we've installed that card. We've got two M2 Samsungs on one side, that's the 860s, and we have one NVMe 970 Pro. Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about two things. I want to talk about StarTech upgrade cards like this one and QNAP NAS. I've been doing some tests with some StarTech products over the last few weeks. Everything ranging from simple LAN adapters to even dual LAN adapters over USB to see which of these are compatible with NAS systems. Today I'm going to look at the NVMe and SATA M2 upgrade card from StarTech. This 30 quid card without the VAT um, has been, t I'm testing it in PC and NAS systems and today I want to test QNAP NAS. I've got a rack mount QNAP NAS just here off camera. I'm trying to lift that on. I'm sure you can just about see that there. And what I'm going to do is, and I've just turned it on by accident, I'm going to take that M2 card. I'm going to install two SATA based NVMEs inside. Uh, sorry, two SATA based SSDs inside, one NVME SSD, and I'm going to put this card inside that QNAP to see if one, it recognizes the card, and two, what we can do with it. Will we just be able to use it for caching? or will we be able to use it for caching and storage? And will it see all three or only one or the other? So we're gonna do one test with all of them inside and another test with one or the other inside just to see if there's any problems there. But this card itself is available now from StarTech. And again, like in my previous videos, I'm gonna to have to read this awful name. It is the StarTech PEX-M2-SAT-32NI. Catchy name, StarTech. Um, for those that aren't aware, StarTech have got a huge history of creating solutions to bridge uh, devices together. So if you've ever needed to um, connect a really, really old connection with a really, really new connection, almost certainly StarTech have produced a solution. And what they have is incredibly affordable. This card here arrives with two SATA-based uh, SSD slots there to let you install cards there. And on the rear, we have got one um, PCIe based NVMe slot there for putting an NVMe SSD inside. The device utilizes PCIe, this should be more specs in the description, and there are LED lights there based on the rear that let you know for each of the three M2s inside and one for simple power. So let's be honest, if I turn this on and we don't even see a single light out of these, I'm pretty sure that's going to be game over for this video. So if you're looking at this video now and it ends in about 20 seconds, that's probably why. If it's longer than that, maybe we got lucky, but otherwise, let's carry on, move away to the screen and get this card installed. Right, so we're on the desktop here of the QNAP NAS, and once again, we've installed that card. We've got two M2 Samsungs on one side, that's the 860s, and we have one NVMe 970 Pro. And again, I apologize for the noise. I've kept the lid off of the device, and it is pre-installed. I've got two cameras running right now. And if we make our way into, first things first, the storage manager, I can see lots of green lights on this card, by the way, so I'm assuming something's working. Uh, if we make our way into the device, let's have a quick look. And I can say, dum da dum 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 actually I can see that P there, we're looking good. And we've got the one hard drive that's installed inside this device already, that uh, Seagate 14TB, and a PCIe card is now visible. So the card is working certainly and it seems to be able to see the SSD that we've installed inside. So straight away that's a good sign. But what about those two standard SATA M2s? Let's have a quick look here. Uh, I've had a look at the instruction manual and it should be able, well a PC anyway, would be able to see all three SSDs. But in the case of the NAS it only seems to want to see that 970 EVO. Um, so what we're going to do now is see if it's possible to set up an area of cache on this device. Let's have a look. What can we do? We've got action. We've got all the usual options. We've got disk health and all the rest of it. It's visible. And it's only showing just those two disks as well. So from here, uh, what can we do? Can we create an area of storage before we do anything else? Let's have a look. So if we go to file station, we should really set uh, this up as a brand new volume, but if we go for a shared folder and we try to use it and create a new one, um, if we go from there, we still got all those files from previous videos. New shared folder. We'll call this one NVMe. And again, it's only seeing that storage area, so we should probably create the new one in that storage manager we had on screen. 
from here we will create a brand new uh, area of storage and then a, a new storage pool and then an area on top of it so if we go to there bum, 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 we'll create a new storage pool let's have a look will it let us do so we can create tiering we're not going to worry too much about that this time we can see that it's found the NVMe there so we'll click add but for some reason it doesn't want to see it let's find out about the capacity saying why is it not able to use it from the QNAP's own forum let's have a look is this a compatibility issue let's have a look because we're using a third party adapter and I think unfortunately that is going to be our downfall today and it's to do with this compat incompatible adapter and I think here's what the issue is so we can use it for cash but we can't use it for traditional storage so at the moment if you did want to use uh, this card for just caching it seems like that is something we're going to be able to do but unfortunately this is not going to be something we can do with this StarTech card so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to power down the device and from here I'm then going to remove that NVMe SSD and then I'm going to reboot the device to see what happens and see if those two SATA disks then become visible so let's shut down this device and do that transfer over to just the, the SATA M2s right so we're back on the desktop of QTS on this QNAP NAS and I'll be honest I've got bad news for you I've double checked and although the LEDs on this PCIe card indicate that the M2s are you know fully installed and good to go and the NVMe now we've removed it um, the LED light for that one is off I'm afraid to say that the two SATA based M2 SSDs those 860s are not being recognized by the system both in terms of caching and in terms of raw storage so this card you know remarkably affordable as it is from the guys at span there we are wallet done this card which again is only 29 quid will only let you use the NVMe portion of this card so you'll be able to install one NVMe which I know for those that want read write caching is not ideal but as a more cost effective alternative to a number of NVMe cards out there I think this still serves a purpose we will be doing lots of tests I'm running some tests shortly utilizing USB to 1GBE adapters to see if they work both on the NAS to add more ports and if you can use the USB ports on your host system to get link aggregation but those are videos for another time. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.